The Darkwing terminal was developed for a U.S. government customer primarily. There will be broader appeal than that, but that was the catalyst to get this product going. The Panther II and the Darkwing are both very small aperture terminals. The Panther II is an, has an aperture that's either 60 centimeters or 96 centimeters. It's very modular. The dish size can be changed. It can also change frequency bands, so it's a very versatile modular terminal. The Darkwing terminal, also a very small aperture antenna. In equivalent terms, it's probably a little more than half the size aperture of the Panther II, and it's specifically for KA band applications on the Global Express satellite. That satellite technology has a lot of very nice enhancements in terms of what's in the sky. So with a smaller antenna, you can pass a lot of data. So it really is a matter of needs, wants, frequency bands, and so forth. But for this case, the Darkwing is very optimal. Well, AVL's expertise in this case is the antenna portion of the product, and we are working on uh, lots of other flat panel opportunities in addition to this, and uh, L3's expertise really was in the networking side and the RF electronics that are used in this system. Now this could be used for uh, expeditionary forces, first in, austere environments, can operate off of a battery for quite a long time, can push a lot of data could also be used in camp settings. So there's a number of different things and it's actually fairly scalable depending upon the data throughput that's required. I think this, uh, the Darkwing Positioner offers a great opportunity for the warfighter to go almost any place in the world and have great connectivity that fits inside of a real small uh, enclosure, in this case a laptop uh, bag. It really represents an opportunity for both uh, military and commercial customers uh, to have this kind of transportability everywhere in the KA band, and that really is unique at this point in the market.